Good evening. Hi, good evening, Jose. How are you? Great. Great, okay. That's good to hear. We're just waiting for the others. So how, how's your day going so far? How's your day going so far? ¿Cómo va su día hasta ahora? Hello, Gloria. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? I'm doing great. I oh, know. Great, great, great. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. How do you say what? Saludosa. Oh, hot. Just hot. Hot. I'm hot. Yes, yeah, it's a little a little hot, right? Okay. Chavez Campos. Who's Chavez Campos? Uh, ah, okay, Lorena. <laughs> Good evening, Lorena. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, what about you? Yes, go, go. What about you? I'm sad because my day is very hot and how do you say exhausted? Oh, exhausted, exhausted. Yeah, we saw it. And hot, exhausted and hot. Okay, good. Ivan, good evening. Good evening. How's it going? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Michelle, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? Me too. I'm great. I, awesome. I'm fine. You're fine? Great. Okay. There's a crown in your head, right? There's a crown in your head. <laughs> That's good. ¿Cómo se dice juego de té? It's a tea set. A tea set. Ah, okay. Tea set. A tea set. It's a tea set, yeah. From Japan? No, from China. China. Yep. So it, it is a Chinese tea set. Wow. That's great. Okay, Ophelia, good evening. Gilberto, good evening. Good evening. Welcome, how are you? Fine. Great. Okay, guys, today we're gonna start with your homework. Remember your homework from yesterday? But let's remember first, um, on your workbook, there's an activity here. <laughs> There's a map. Okay. So you need to describe your job's location and others' workplace. So like, where is your office? Okay, where is your office? You can ask some classmates where they work and the location of their job. Where, where is their job? Also, uh, mention where your work, uh, where is your work? Oh my God. Where's your work and, your, and its location? Okay, so let's see. Um, we have a bank, a mall, a restaurant, a sports place, a sport place, a park, 
um, a company named Arrows, Arrows Company, school, a school, a school, a church, a church. We have the city hall, a city hall, the city hall, and a book and a bookstore. Okay, so where is the bookstore? Okay, the bookstore is. Mm -hmm. Can somebody help me? Okay, where is the book, the bookstore? Okay, it's at the corner on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. It is at the corner on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. So here it is. Okay. Between City Hall e and mm. Arrow's company. Mm hmm. Is that will be in between? Hmm. In front. Hmm. It's in front of. Okay. It it could be across Arrow's company, uh, next to the City Hall. Okay. On the um. Okay. Crossing, crossing Roosevelt Street next to the city hall, or yeah, is across across Arrows Company behind Arrows Company. It all depends on your location, your location. So if you are coming from Second Avenue, if you're coming on Second Avenue. Okay, you have to continue straight and the bookstore is um, on 2nd Avenue after the city hall, after the city hall or passing, remember, past the, um, past the city hall. There's many ways, okay. Where's the bank? Where's the bank? Mm -hmm. Can somebody tell me where's the bank? Where's the bank? Next to the sport palace. It's next to the sports palace, the sport palace. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in the corner of Barrio Street Barrio. and First Avenue. Okay. Perfect, it's in the corner of Barrio Street and First Avenue. Right, very good. At the corner of First Avenue and Barrio Street, yes. Next to Sport Place, okay. Across, it's across Sport, sport Palace. Sport Palace, okay. It's in the opposite side Michelle is on the opposite side of the park on Barrio Street. Now, that could be confusing, right? It could be confusing because the opposite side of the park. Rest. Okay, right, you have <laughs> four opposite sides. So, no. Okay, opposite corners, opposite corners. Okay. Where's the church? Okay, a church between enter the school and city hall. Good, it's between the school and the city hall. Good, the church is between the school and the city hall. And here you can say next to the city hall. It is next to the city hall, right? Teacher, mm -hmm. sería válido también decir next to city hall and next to school, or it's better between city hall and school. Both, you can use both. Oh. Ambos, both. B O T H, both. Yes. Okay. Where's the restaurant? 
it's in the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Perfect, very good. How else can you say that? ¿Cómo más puedes decir eso? Remember that the target language, el lenguaje meta, okay, on this session is on, in, at, right? On, in, at. On First Avenue, at the corner, okay? As you said, very good. Now we learned, we learned a lot of prepositions yesterday. Take a look, take a look at the picture of the prepositions next to pass, pass, the mall in okay. front of Arrow company in front of Arrow's company okay and yeah because you have streets here it's on Roosevelt it's on Roosevelt Street past the past the bookstore huh Edwin okay it's in in Roosevelt Street on across First Avenue in front of Arrow's company Totally, yes. Very good. Okay. The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street, one block, one block after the book world. One block after the book world. So remember, uh, Rafael said yesterday, there was a, a way to say a block, this is a block, okay? Is this a block? Yes, that is a block. So if I am here, okay, I'm here, I want to get to the restaurant. So you can tell me, okay, walk, listen, walk two blocks, walk two blocks, one block, Okay, one block, two blocks, and I made it to the restaurant. One block, two block. Okay. Or you could say in two corners, in two corners, so in two corners, you will find a restaurant. Okay, questions? Pregunta, mm -hmm. ¿qué significa city hall? What's the city hall? Alcaldía. City hall. Ahí está, alcaldía. Mm -hmm. The arrow company? It's a company, just a company. Could be Gloria's, comp Gloria's company. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. More questions, more questions. What is a mall? What's Centro a mall? Uh-huh, Centro, mm -hmm. Centro Comercial. Okay. Easy. Now, all of these guys, you call them venues. These are venues. Mm -mm. Venues. Okay. So what are venues uh, or a venue? The bank is a venue. Uh, the city hall is a venue. The church, school, the barber shop, the gas station. You know what is a gas station, right? The gas station. Una solinera, right? What does venue mean? Venue, uh, local. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that, de ahí viene la palabra avenue. Avenue, because on, on the avenue, you can find a lot of venues. Okay. Avenue, venue. Okay. That's general culture. What other venues do you know? What other venues do you know? Do you know the police station? You know the police station? Okay. 
You know the fire department? Hospital. Hospital. The hospital, very good. What else? Store. Store. Okay. The store. What else? Stadium. Stadium. Very good. Stadium. Mm -hmm. I said the barber shop. A salon. Mm -hmm. What else? The pharmacy. Um, our pharmacy, you can also say Jimmy. Jimmy. Drugstore. A drugstore too. Yeah, you can call it a drugstore too. Great. Liquor store. A liquor store. Your favorite. Your favorite. Okay. Liquor store. <laughs> uh huh. What else? I said the gas station. Hey, don't make a pause. Gas station. Gas station. What else? How else can you say bookstore? A library? Well, that's a biblioteca, right? The bookstore. It's different too. Hello, Jancy. Good evening. Good evening. Um, se dice <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a venue, el conchodromo, right? What else? Think, 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 think. Restaurants, uh, malls. Is that it? The university. Supermarket. Come again, Edwin. University. Market. The supermarket. Yes. Huh? What else? I'm sorry. Tienda de helados. Oh, the ice cream. The Grocery ice cream store. store. Grocery store. Very good. You can call it grocery store. Floristeria. Uh, the flower shop. Mm -hmm. Funeraria. Oh, come on, really? Hold on. Uh, funeraria. Warehouse? A warehouse, yes. Hold on. The hardware. Hardware. Cafeteria. Store. Oh my God. Yes. Shoe store. <laughs> and wait, funeraria. How do you say funeraria in English? It's not mortuary. That's something else. Hmm? Mortuary? What? Mortuary? More tree, yes, thank you. More tree, like that, Jose. Check, check. More tree. I think that's the way. Okay, and so on. There's a lot of places. The car wash, the car wash. So many places. Panaderia. Oh, the bakery. <laughs> What about where you wash where you wash your clothes? How 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 do you say taller automotriz? <laughs> uh, okay, that's the workshop. Okay, that's the workshop. It could be a car shop, workshop, um was another way of saying that as well. Every optica. Uh, that, I don't know. How do you say optica in English? Google it. Google it. Venues. Venues. Now, here in El Salvador, is and, and in the United States, in some little towns, it's very common to find the police station, the church, and what else? Police station, the church, the fire department sometimes, the fire department, all around the park. There's always a park in little towns, right? 
if you yeah. go to, I don't know, Hikilisco, I don't know, you mentioned it, uh, Ilovasco, whatever, Huayua, if you go to the park, you have the city hall, you have the church and the police station, at least, por lo menos, at least you have these three venues together all the time. Okay, that's it. Good. Pain center. Le paint center. Yeah. Or tire 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 store or tire center. Tire shop. A tire shop. Okay. Understand that shop is like tire. Okay. In your com in your company in your job, you have some workshops, right? Have you ever attended a, a workshop in your job? You have a workshop about teamwork. Talleres, right? Good. Questions? No. Okay, so who did the homework? Did you do the homework? Hicieron la tarea? Yes, maybe says yes. I did. Okay, so show me your homework. Where's your job? So on your notebook, on your work, would you have that activity? Look, it says, describe the location of my workplace and sure. others workplace. Yes, Jose? Porque la sección 4 yo no la he podido descargar. Déjeme dar una como sobre la portada o. Really? No sé si a los demás les pasó igual. Guys. Me too. You too. Mm. Yo la tenía descargada, pero solo la primera, como que solo la descargó. A mí me carga hasta la unidad 3 y la 4 solo me aparece una página más nada. Ajá, exacto. Yo tenía toda la intención de hacer la tarea, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Your student's book is on your WhatsApp group. Almost. Ya casi, ya merito. Tenía otra consulta aparte. Ya. Yeah. En el progreso me parece que soy, estoy inscrito como asistente únicamente. Eso no, que no lleva un certificado. What? Okay, uh, for that administration, Elena. Okay. On the chat, okay. Uh huh. Any other question? Ya está su manual ahí en el chat de WhatsApp, chicos. Mm -hmm. Okay, no more questions. So let's continue. On your workbook, you have this activity. You have to describe your place. So let's be, as we said, right, which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the city hall on? Which street is the park on? So that's difficult because what street is the park on? It's, it's between, between Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street between Barrio Street and Roosevelt Street, okay? Two streets. Okay. Teacher, yes. how do you say cuadra? Block. Y block. Y es que no, no identifico yeah. la palabra cuando dicen como corner, algo así. Oh, esquina. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Thank you. Jancy from the block. I think Jenny from the block. Uh, Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm still, I'm still. Right? Jenny from the block. <laughs> okay, guys. So, homework. Where's your job? Where's your job? I want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, no volunteer. I'm going to select a victim. 
And my favorite color is black. So, Liz. Oh my God, look at your shirt. <laughs> okay, so Liz, um, where's your job located? Where's your job located? Mm, okay. I board the bus in front of the Super Selectos in Soyapango. Then I wake, walk in front of, of Plaza Mundo. I take the next bus out of Walmart, Soyapango, under the bus in the cen centro de San Salvador, next to the park, San Jose. I board other bus tower, Metro Centro, San Salvador. I'm ready. And I'm job. Okay, can you repeat the last sentence? Last sentence, can you repeat the last sentence? The last sentence. Ajá, la última oración, last sentence. La última. Uh, I'm ready. I'm at job. Okay. And I'm already at my job. That, that's the way. Así lo tendría que haber dicho. And I'm already at my job. Now, so I take the bus and you said, I under the bus. Under the bus. No, I come off the bus. I come out of the bus. I go out of the bus. Me salgo del bus. Okay, I go. I go out of the bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I go out of the bus. I jump off. No, I jump off. No, porque eso sería saltar del bus. Okay, good job, Liz. Oh my God. Okay. ¿Quién me puede repetir una oración de todo lo que dijo Liz? Okay, al menos donde toma un bus. Where does she take one bus? One of the two. Two buses, right, Liz? No. She's like okay. three. Like three. Come again, come again, Edwin. To take a bus in Walmart, so Pango. Yeah. Okay. Takes a bus in the center of San Salvador. In the center of San Salvador. Okay. Wow. How many buses? Two or three, Liz? Yo no le dije. No, Rafa, Yo le dije al. Who's, who's Ernesto Gondin? Hold on. Who's Ernesto? Hello, Ernesto. Who's Ernesto? Es Rafael. Oh, yes, Rafael Ernesto. That's right. Oops. Okay, good. Um, so let's see. Yeah, no, no, no. Liz, Liz. Who, who's your best friend? Who is your best friend in this class? <laughs> me compromete. Can you hear me? See? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Okay. Um, maybe Michi y Fiora. In that order, okay. Maybe it's Michi and Fiora. Flora, okay. Es que es con las que más he conversado. Así como que okay. buena conexión. Así que. Oh, okay. Good. Say thank you, maybe. Mm. Okay, maybe it's your turn. Where's your job? How do you get to your job? Uh, the place where my work is located in front of the tower Vista Hermosa. Over the street, El Mirador. And five blocks over Luceiros 
what do you say, how do you say redondel or rotonda in English? Ra roundabout, roundabout. Five blocks over Lucero's roundabout. Mm -hmm. Over. Hmm. No sé si es over o... Mm -hmm. Passing. Es... Five blocks pass. Five blocks. Oh, arriba, o cinco, yeah. cinco cuadras arriba. Right, over. Yeah, that's okay. Five blocks over uh, Lucero's roundabout. Okay. It's really high. It's really high, right? Really high, right? Okay, great job. <laughs> okay, nice view. Nice view. Maybe it's nice view really nice view buena vista no porque la torre no bloquea la torre de, de departamento uh, okay the torre i'm sorry the tower the tower the tower, tower blocks or view the, the torre the tower blocks or view okay excellent <laughs> okay so then uh liz said michelle Yes. <laughs> Where's your job? Mm, well, um, bueno, en realidad, mi trabajo queda ya carretera al puerto. O sea, so, um, I take the road, uh, Los Chorres, and then on Boulevard Sur, I take the roundabout, and I take the first exit. And then I pass the two shopping centers, que es el Two malls, Las Palmas, La Joya. Two malls, uh -huh. Las uh -huh. Palmas, La Joya. And um, sigo derecho en inglés. I, I continue straight. I go. I continue, okay, I continue straight. straight. Mm -hmm. And then um, in residential uh, Via Tuscania, mm -hmm. yeah. I turn left. Left, okay. Yes, the the campus Tigo is uh, in residential. Bueno, residential. Ah, está dentro de la residencial. Uh -huh. Resid okay. Residential Tuscania. That's a gated community. It's a gated community. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm saying okay. gated, gated, gate. Gate. Okay. Ah, okay. Gate. Like, like, like gates. Shh. Shh. Gates. Gated community. Una comunidad con portón. A private, a private residen uh -huh. residence, residency. I remember when they, yeah. when they built Tuscania because I lived I lived six years in El Puerto de la Libertad. Okay. Every day I used to drive, I used to surf. Love mm -hmm. to surf. Surfing is, wow. <laughs> so we lived there. That's why I was white. I was white. Now I'm like brown. <laughs> Something like that. It's really weird. Yeah, too okay. much. The heat. Okay. Good. I know. Good. And then after, uh, maybe it's an after Michi. Um, Liz said, who? Gloria. <laughs> okay, Gloria. Thank you, Michi. Okay. Michelle. I'm sorry, Michelle. <laughs> okay. okay. Good Vamos job. A... I work for the company Lynx SADCB. The address is 41 So Avenue and 12 West Street, number 2. 1,203, Colonia Flor Blanca. Colonia se dice Colonia, ¿no? ¿sí? Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? No. Mm. No. It's a no. neighborhood. It's a neighborhood, but it's okay. It's okay. It's in Spanish. It's in Spanish. Yeah. I mean, okay, now. We are, uh, uh -huh, we, so... are located, we are located, located one block from Puden. 
very close to the national gym and the fields from beach volleyball, volleyball, uh, 800 meter. And was, we have the Team Marine Children Museum and one uh, kilometers <laughs> from the Cuscatlan Park. Cuscatlan Park, Cuscatlan yes. Park. Okay. Good, Gloria. Okay. Um, uh, uh, sigo, sigo. Yeah. Ah, no, sigo. Okay. Bueno, vamos a ver. Um, this is um, uh, 350 meter from the office on West 10th Street. Uh, there is a pre prestigious, prestigious nursing school, Cale, Cale y Proes. On the 6th West Street, we have a good restaurant, Cala La Casona, and 450 meters, hours, hours away, away, away. From, is the Magic Gonzalez Stadium. Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. A lot of vocabulary. Great job, Gloria. Okay. Let's see. Repeat. So you said, look, this is past. Located. 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 Okay. One block from Fudim, you said. And it's one block away from Fudim. One uh, block away from. Um, a una cuadra de. Mm -hmm. Okay. O una cuadra lejos de. Okay. One block away from Fudim. Repeat, museum. 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 Uh-huh, there you go, museum. Museum. Stadium. 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 There you go. Stadium. 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 Very good. Um, it's not nursing, it's nursing. 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 Look at the chat. Yes, nursing. The chat nursing. on Zoom. Nursing. Um, ustedes van a aprender esto después. Los ED endings en su listado. Los verbos regulares en inglés. Ah, perdón, los verbos regulares en pasado simple. Tienen ED al final. Y tiene tres diferentes pronunciaciones que las verán cuando veamos el pasado simple. Que primero Dios sea conmigo, no lo sé. Ok. So, then you say cold. Esa es la pronunciación de la segunda regla de pronunciación. You say cold. Enrollas la lengua. Cold. Es una doble L. Eh. Cold. Y cuando está en pasado, decís cold. Así como frío. Cold. C-O-L-D. Cold. The same. Cold. Llamado. Okay, cold, cold. Stadium. Very good. A lot of vocabulary. Love it. Okay. Questions. Questions. How to say your location? No? No, 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 no. Okay. Where is the Universidad of El Salvador? Where is the Universidad of El Salvador. Where is it located? Mm -hmm. The finally, the finally in the street, 25th Avenue. 25th Avenue, 25th Avenue. 25th Avenue. Mm -hmm. Finally. Oh, so it's at the end. Good. At the Okay, is at the end of the 25th Avenue. I'm going to write it at the end of 25th Avenue. At the end of 25th Avenue. Al final de la 25 Avenida. What? South? North? Ah, it's Avenida. Who knows? North. 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 Okay. North. 25th Avenue North. Okay, guys. Good. Just to finish this topic, para terminar este, este tema, let's learn something new. Vamos a aprender algo nuevo, okay? 
So what is this? What is this? Okay. Right. Ordinary number. <laughs> Ordinary numbers. Very good. Um, Does this ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Okay. Repeat. Does that ring any bell? 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 What? Does, <laughs> does that ring any bell? 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 <laughs> It's like saying, ¿Eso te recuerda algo? Uh, does that ring any bell? ¿No te suena algo? Así, ¿No te suena algo? Does that bring you any memory? ¿Al te trae algún recuerdo? Does that bring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Okay, so yes, exactly. It's ordinary. <laughs> ordinals. Let's talk about ordinals. Okay, in English. So... Ordinals. I'm missing one. Me falta uno. I'm missing one. Si ustedes, sí. si ustedes quisieran aprender un poquito más de vocabulario, se meterían a los videos y verían cuando hablo en Spanglish, como lo acabo de hacer. <laughs> I'm missing one, dije. I'm missing one. Es T. Me falta uno, ok. Yeah, es T. Very good. Thank you. So, yes, let's start by that. Ok. Vamos a comenzar con ese. Let's start by that. Um, so we say first, and I don't know why this is so complicated for you. Okay, look, we say first. Again, again, listen. First. 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 Try, try it. Let's see, Michelle. First. Yes, first. Perfect. Gloria. First. Good. Edwin. First. Good. Ophelia. First. Does the dust being an bear? Uh -huh. Repeat. First. 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 Uh -huh. first. 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 Good. Better. Okay, Patricia. First. Patricia. Better. Okay. Ivan. First. Mm. Repeat. First. First. Better. First. See? Very good. So, no quiero escuchar ya. First. Ni first. Ni first. I don't know. Okay, first. Then you say second. Okay. Second. Second. That's easy. Second. Okay. Then you have. Second. You have. Third, 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 third. Okay. Very good. And then you continue with TH. El resto son THs. Todas las demás son THs. Okay. Y vas a agregar el sonido TH al final de cada número. So you say fourth. Okay. Listen. Fourth. 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 Okay. Fourth. You're going to say fifth. Fourth. You're going to say fifth. 
fifth. Fifth. Fifth. Hmm? Fifth. And so fifth. on. And you have sixth. Okay, sixth, 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 and so on. Now, so on, right? Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. So, Nine. vas a agregar una Z al final de la pronunciación de cada número como ya lo has aprendido. And then... Sí. You start saying 20th, okay, 30th, 40th, 50th, and so on. Y así. ¿Cómo se dice? Y así. Anyone? Anyone? Ah, I Anyone? just said it. Lo acabo de decir. Anyone? No. I just said it. Like that, and so on, and so on, right? Y así, cuando decís eso, de, y así, por no decir etc., y así, vea, and so on, okay. Is that, is that clear? Is that clear? ¿Ya tiene sentido esto? Oh. Teacher. Yes. Hasta qué yeah. número llega así con la TH. <laughs> Good. Okay, so after 20th, siempre vas a volver a estos tres, mira. First, second, and third. Sí, vas a volver siempre cuando vas al 21, al 31, yeah, right? 41, you start again. 21st, thank you. 22nd, 23rd. Y ahí empezas otra vez, 24th, 25th, 26th, hasta que llegas al 30th. Y empezas otra vez, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, mientras que tú te aprendas esos tres sonidos, that's it. 21st, 2nd, 3rd. Fourth. Ahorita exagera. Hace una Z con tu lengua. Fourth. Fourth. Ok. ¿Y qué estoy diciendo acá, José? Somebody? What are the ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers? Primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, etcétera, etcétera, y así. <laughs> And so on. That's right. Ok. Ordinal numbers. Those are ordinal numbers. Thank ordinal you very much. Numbers. Okay. Good. Easy. Easy. Very simple. Si vimos los números, ¿verdad? No. No. Yes. Yes, we did. We did. De hecho, les envié el cuadrito, si no me equivoco. Sí. Brevemente lo vimos. Brevemente. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we saw that. Well, igual, se los voy a enviar al grupo para no entretenernos mucho en eso, ¿ok? Let's go with the list. One second. No te, no te, no te da aire. Bueno. It's really hot. That's the way está bien caliente. That's the way you say está bien caliente. It's really hot. Okay. So let's see. We are today on February 16th. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Here. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Blanca Argelia Fabián Mejía. Here. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. 
Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Uh, Tomar eso como un sí. <laughs> Where is she? Si estaba, ¿verdad? Se habrá desconectado. Yeah. Ok, let's go on. Uh, Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Here. Thank you. José Marvin Portillo Argueta. Que Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Not today. Maybe Sibet Milla Contreras. Here. Thank you. Here. Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano. Here. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Oh, there here. he is. Hey, Rafa. Reinaldo Bonilla Martínez. Not here. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here. Not here, okay. Jancy, Lisbeth, Menden, Hernandez Mejia. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. Good. Let's continue. So we did this exercise yesterday. Um, now we are supposed to make a map to build a map of our company create a map with your workplace on it and places, buildings, and others that surround it. Show and explain your map to other partners. Ahora quiero saber quién sí se toma el tiempo de por lo menos buscarlo en Google Maps, su trabajo. Did you do it? Yeah. Show me. I, Show. I, 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 I. You did it? <laughs> I did it? Okay, I, I did. Good. <laughs> At least, of course. Ya, ya varios se lo dijeron. Okay. Good guys. Um, so let me show you an example. Let's say that I find a friend on the street. Okay. Let's say that I find a friend on the street. Okay. Or I'm going to say me. Okay. Hey, cuando no vean bien la pantalla, díganme, por favor, porque ayer pasó algo, yo bien emocionado y todo, y varios me dijeron, miren, no se miraba nada hasta que había terminado la clase. No, hombre, chele, eso no se hace. Ok. Hey. Hey, Arturo. Let's say Arturo. What's up, Rafa? Not so much. Pay attention. Do you know all this? Ya conocen varias cosas de estas. Eh? Not so much. What about you? Oh, no hemos visto eso. Okay, it's going to be long.
Okay, let's keep it short. No, a mantener corto. Okay, so listen. This is me. Okay. Hey, Arturo. Arturo, what's up, Rafa? You know what? Somebody, Jose, Jose Angel, help me. You are Arturo. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Hey, Arturo. Hey, what's up, Rafa? Not so much. What about you? Uh, I work some. I work as good now. What? Really? No way. Yes. Want to come to bar? Sure. Where is it? It is near Centro Comercial Las Azaleas. Where is that? Next to the Galaxy Bowling Command. Oh, I got it. I have to go there tomorrow. Okay, good. <laughs> this was easy, right? Hey, come on, Jose Angel, Google. <laughs> Google. Google, Google, Google. Google, Google. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I work at Google now. I work at Google now. What? Really? No way. Yes. Want to come aboard? Hey, want to come aboard? Okay, guys, any new word? Alguna palabra nueva? Awesome, teacher. What mm. does it Incredible, mean? amazing, yeah. but nice. filling. Filling. In this example, it's a filling. I'm awesome. Estoy increíble. I'm wow. Okay. Uh huh. Teacher, podría repetir cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Glugluli. What? Which one? <laughs> La oh. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Awesome. You say awesome. Awesome. Like that. Just like that. Awesome. 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 Now, um, remember stress. Stress. Awesome. El stress. Awesome. Awesome. Que salga, del, que salga del estómago esa voz. Awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. What? Really? No way. What is no way? No te creo. No te creo. No me chele. Right? Really? No way. Que paja. Buen salvadoreño. Que paja. No way. Okay. Pepito. <laughs> Yes, want to come aboard? <coughs> mm -hmm. What is want to come aboard? Quieres unirtenos, te quieres montar, es decir, quieres venir a bordo? Esa es la traducción correcta. Quiere venir a bordo? De una compañía. Come again, Jose. Eh, abor, eh, abordar. ¿Quieres venir a bordo? ¿Quieres unirte? ¿Quieres, quieres, quieres caerte? Ajá, así ¿Quieres como unirte? te quieres unir a la compañía, right? Te seguimos en el contexto de una entrevista, de qué chiva la compañía por la que trabajas. ¿Te quieres unir? ¿Want to come aboard? ¿Quieres venir a bordo? O sea... Unirte a la compañía. Sure, where is it? Seguro. Where is it? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde queda? queda? ¿Dónde queda? ¿A dónde queda? Very good. It is near. Repeat. Near. 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 It is near, near, near. 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 Ahorita near. necesito que exageres, ¿ok? Todos, todos near. exageren. Y no me la nariz. Near. 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 Uh -uh. near. Olvídense de la... Near. 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 Forget... There you go. Forget near. the A. Near. 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 It near. Is near. It is near Centro near. Comercial Las Azaleas. Near. Okay, where is near. that? ¿Dónde está eso? Near. 
Centro Comercial Las Azaleas. Ojo, me lo inventé, ¿eh? yo, yo creo que Las Azaleas queden en otro lado. No me juzguen. Okay. La pronunciación es Azaleas. Azaleas, sí. Yes. <risa> azaleas in street mas, la mascota. Yes, es en la mascota, es true. La mascota es street. <risa> Qué vaga, Dios mío. Ok. <risa> Ok, where is that? ¿Dónde está eso? Ok, next to the galaxy bowling. Come on. Hey, expressions. Next to the galaxy bowling. Come on. Así, come on. Come on. Mi ex jefa. Mi ex jefa era relacionista internacional, igual que su servidor. Solo que ya se terminó la carrera, pero bueno. Era súper fresa, súper fresa. Y cuando me estaba dando coaching, o sea, retroalimentación en mi trabajo, y, y me quería corregir, me decía, o oh, vamos, o oh, vamos. <risa> Había pasado del inglés al español los modismos, ¿no? Decía, o oh, vamos, Rafa, me decía, ok, come on. Okay, o sea, on. le hubiera dicho usted. <laughs> o sea, potaxio. Okay, next to the galaxy bowling. Come on. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, ya lo tengo. Okay, ya entendí. Oh, I got it. I have to go there tomorrow. Tengo que ir mañana. Tengo que ir allí mañana. Tengo que ir allí mañana. I have to go there tomorrow. Um, podría haber dicho I, I have to be I have to be there tomorrow I have to go there tomorrow so el escenario está pintado te encontrás con un amigo de años y hey qué onda dónde trabajas verdad cómo se dice where, dónde trabajas where do you work perfect where do you work y quiero que ocupen frases ok esa es mi, mi, mi meta personal cuando doy una clase, es que ustedes se les peguen ciertas, ciertos modismos americanos que son muy comunes, para que suenen más naturales, ¿ok? No como que acaban de salir de un curso de inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Bien? That's very important. So, be natural. Sean naturales, sean ustedes mismos. Claro, en el ambiente profesional, chicos, no ocupamos ciertas cosas. ¿verdad? Como ese WhatsApp. El jefe no le va a decir, hey, what's up? <laughs> so I say, what's your name? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, y después va a decir el teacher me dijo no. Okay, good. So your mission right now is to create a conversation like this, like this example. Okay, go ahead. You can do it. A conversation, a role play. Y luego vendremos y lo vamos a, a, a actuar ya en el pleno, ¿ok? En la asamblea juntos, ¿ok? Anyways, so, I'll send you this right now. Te voy a enviar esto a su WhatsApp. Ok. So, you can have, esto solo es una idea. No vayan a copiar exactamente, literal, esto y cambiar los nombres. Ok. Good, please. So we are 16. Let's go in very small groups, tiny groups, trios. Okay, let's go. Creativity, creativity. Hello, Carlita, Vanessa, ya le uno a un grupo, ¿ok? Ya está, ok, Vanessa, si me escucha, acepte la invitación, ahí está. ¿Cómo puede ser así? Que le pregunte, dice bien original. Hi. 
Eh, en lugar de decir WhatsApp, ¿cómo hola, puede hola. decir uno otra? Other está? greetings, other greetings, that's right. Uh, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Perfect. That's hey, right. How's it going? How's it going? Lo dijiste en la primera, me dice. How's it going? How's it going? There you go. Hey, how's it going, Gilberto? Gilberto. Hola. Hola. ¿Quién me contesta, Gilberto? Hello. Hello. Yes, exactly, oh. Gilberto. Hello, maybe. Eh, ay, ¿qué le puedo decir? What about you? Ajá, uh -huh. right. ¿Qué es el mango? No, pregunta. What about you? Pero en este caso son tres. Ay. Sí, también en Néstor. Hey, Gilberto, Néstor. How are you guys? ¿Cómo están, How chicos? Fine. Fine. Are you? Fine, and you? Excitement, Gilberto. Fine, and you? We're enthusiastic. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Tengo que hablar, ¿sabes? No me regañes. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Maybe. Great. Great. Ay, el que no se me ocurre. I'm great. I work for the government. <gasps> Estoy súper bien. Trabajo para el gobierno. Ah. Oh. Good. Ok. Guys, where do you work? Really, como dijeron que trabajaban en el gobierno, really. O como dice, sure. Ok, ya les di la pista. Creativity, What? guys. Really? Be creative. Keep going. Oh, really? I, I, yeah. What is that? What is that? Perdón. <laughs> Que, si, ver, share, si, puede decir, si puede ser más específica, can you be or can you are ah. more specific? Can you be more specific? Ah. And direction? Yes. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Yes. The office address is 41 Avenue Sur and 12 West Street, number 2203, White Flower Colony. 2203, oh. okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. That's oh good. God. That's good. See you later. Y Michelle hablando sola en toda la Hi. conversación. <risa> ok, acuérdense que, acuérdense que son tres, entonces dos de ah. ustedes se encuentran a uno, o uno se encuentra al otro y el otro llega después de mí, que a ver qué están hablando. Eh. Ok, good, it's up to you, pero hay que ser creativo, ok, good. Teacher, ¿cómo okay. se moderador o como que la, la... Moderator. Como uh -huh. llevar... Que lleve la, la temática. Okay. Vamos a ver. Modulator. Como, como moderador o algo así. De, no sé. Hay otra palabra aparte de modulator. Uh, ya, yeah, de moder, moderator. Moderator y más común, low key. Low key. Low key. El moderador, low key. I'm the low key. I'm the low key. Low. Low key. contesto, okay. low key. Te mantienes bajo perfil. Ok. You just watch in order. Ok. Good evening, Ada y Michelle. What? Good evening, Good evening. Rafael. Y deje hasta la G. Ajá. E, borre la H y agréguele la E. 
Y de I T H E R. Ajá, together. Okay. Así. Hey, what about great? I'm great. G R E A T. G R E A T. Great. G R E A T. G R E. -A -T. G -R -E -A -T. Go, go. Move to the, the, okay. Great, great. Okay. A. Uh -uh. Go back. Go back. Uh -huh. A. A. There you go. Now remove, remove, remove the E. The last E. There, yeah. Uh -huh. Great. I'm great. And you? I'm fine. What what are you doing on weekend? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do on the weekend? On okay. the weekend. Okay. Good. I'm free. I'm free. Yeah. I'm free. Uh, I'm free. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Huh. It's okay. Actually, let's say I'm off. I'm off, O-F-F, -F. I'm off. I'm off. Instead of free, okay. no free, no free. Constituyendo. Yeah, let's say um. off, uh -uh. I'm off. Off. O-F-F. -F. Como. There you go, I'm off. Como de apagada. Exactly, I'm off. Mm, let's, okay, okay delete we, delete we, delete we. Excellent. Now let's put let's apostrophe. Let. Let. Uh -huh. Let's make plans together. There you go. I'm off. Let's make plans together. Mm, okay. <laughs> Eric, Eric, go like. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Where do we go? No, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we do we go? Go. Go. Enter, enter. There you go. Okay, where do we go? We we go. Okay, Liz. Um, how do you say you quiero ir? I want to go. Want to go. I want to go. Two. For. Okay, good. That's better. I want to go for some micheladas. For I go, I want to go for some 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 mm -hmm. micheladas. At what about at? at where where is? At. No, it's okay. Micheladas uh, at. Chapultepec. Chapultepec. Okay, at Chapultepec. Really? Son riquísimas. <laughs> it's too dangerous. I'm sorry. Chapultepec. Eric? Hey, it's a good idea. So, <laughs> es correcto. Why don't you say no way? You can also say, no way, Jose. I don't want to die. I say, no way, Jose, I don't want to die. De ninguna manera, no me quiero morir. No way, Jose, I don't want to die. No, yo sí quiero ir. Okay, good. Now, vamos a aterrizar el tema. Okay, so, sure. Let's write sure. Sure. Uh -huh. uh -uh. Without the H, no H. Uh -huh. sure. sure. Now, exclamation mark. Sure, exclamation mark. 
No estoy acostumbrado a usar la, la laptop. <laughs> de esta, ok. Sure. Eh, creo que está la parte del 1 arriba. Shift en el 1. Shift en el 1. There you go. Sure. Um, where do I pick you up? Where, where do, do I pick you up? Pick you up. 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 Oh, separate. Okay. You up. Question mark. Where do I pick you up? Excellent. And Liz? Okay, Liz is going to say, meet me. Um, meet me. Double E. Uh, double, double E. So, meet me. Eh, donde, donde te recojo. Uh -huh. Where do I pick you up? Donde te recojo? Huh? Meet, me. meet me at. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what? Let's change the at. Meet me on una calle, Liz. Uh, Avenida Guayacán. Perfect. Meet me on Avenida Guayacán. Avenida? Guayacán. Guayacán. No, no idea. Guayacán. Ok. <laughs> Ahí Excelente. asustan, así que no vayan. Que, no ya me tuvo pensas. que no la encontré. <laughs> Meet me on Avenida Guayacán. At. 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 No, keep going, Eric. You're good. Removed, okay, at, uh huh, Liz. Agregando, verdad, at. Time. Mm. Chico, clock, seven o'clock. Seven para ya salir a las ocho, okay, good. At seven o'clock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, O apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Eric, O apostrophe, uh, close, okay. Clock, C L O C K. Okay. O'clock. There you go. Ahora ese apóstrofe que pusiste es es una tilde, por eso no te le está tomando como mm. apóstrofe. El apóstrofe tendría que estar en la parte del, del enter. Okay, Después de control enter. shift. Ajá. Más uh, a la izquierda. Uh, Ahí está. Uh, hmm. Si no está justo a la par de la p. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Okay. So, okay. Si no, está la parte de la L, dos teclas después de la L. That's weird. Debe estar en español el teclado. Sí, es por eso que me está dando. Eh, déjale eso, pero mientras, ok. O'clock, podría darle clic derecho también. Ah, sí, está en español de España. El teclado. I can see that. <laughs> so good. Hey, let's move it to English. Más en inglés. Okay, good guys. That's your conversation. Okay, let's go back. Practica un you, minuto, teacher. okay? You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Okay. Uh, we are, o, o sea, ya si está con usted o conmigo. Con usted. Ah, va. Entonces, Estamos we are a, a pegar la Xi Bowling. Sí. Ajá. Sí, sería. Yes. We are a the Galaxy Bowling. No sé, Gloria. Eh, the Galaxy. Um... Se encuentra, sería en la colonia Escalón, pero ¿cómo se llama? I'm at. <laughs> I'm at. at. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Colonia Escalón? Sí, Colonia Escalón. Colonia I'm Escalón. at Colonia Escalón, ok. okay. Este, por la fuente Beethoven sería... Bueno. Around or near. By... By Fuentes Beethoven, that's the best. By the, uh, by, by Fuentes, Fuentes Beethoven. Beethoven. By Fuentes Beethoven. That's right. E, e, okay. Como se dice Fuentes? Fontaine. 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 Y ese, 
es nombre propio que diría ser los fuentes. Uh, sí, no es pro propio. Fuentes Beethoven, no, es un nombre común. Ah. Beethoven sería la parte propia, ¿verdad? Y fuente, sí, pero, pero estás hablando de un objeto común, digamos. Fuentes mm. Beethoven, ¿ok? También que, quería preguntarle eh, si yo trabajo en la Universidad de Oriente, digo, I work in Universidad de Oriente, o puedo... Uh, I work at Universidad de Oriente. I work for the Universidad de Oriente. Uh -huh. esto, esto se hace si estás acá en El Salvador, ¿no? Sí, sí, espero que hayan entendido cuando expliqué eso, de que eh, hablas con un americano que está acá en El Salvador, él se va a ubicar buscando la Universidad de Oriente, no de Northwest University. ¿Sí? ¿Sí me explico? ¿Por qué? Imagínate que sos un gringo, te perdés en Sonsonate, o en, perdón, Usulután. ¿Sí, verdad? San sí. ¿Cómo es? San Miguel. San Miguel. En San Miguel, perdón. Pues, ves, no conozco en San Miguel, sorry. Te perdés en San Miguel, y sos, sos americano, y te han dicho que busques la Northwest University. ¿Qué le vas a decir a Gloria que no habla inglés? Excuse me, um, where... ¿Dónde queda Northwest University? ¿Dónde queda Northwest University? ¿Qué? Eso no existe. ¿Ya? En cambio, estoy en Estados Unidos y soy yo el latino que va a preguntar por Northwest University. Lógico que me van a entender. ¿Sí se entiende? ¿Ya? Sí. Ok. That's important. Ok, ¿ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Ah, One minute. One minute. Come on. Oh, no, 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 Pulled up an invitation. Uh, sorry. I think I'm you say, talk to the hen. Uh, talk to the hen. Talk to the hen. It's okay, Carla. I know. <laughs> sorry. I, I don't know why I couldn't enter the. She the comes down group. from okay. Yellow Mountain. On a dark flat land she rides. Okay. On a pony she named Wildfire. With a weird wine by her side. On a cold Nebraska night. No me acuerdo de esa canción, se me acaba de ir a la mente. Wildfire. Okay. Okay. Ready? Uh, Gilberto y Néstor. Good, okay. Ivan, Ivan. Sorry, Ivan. Okay, one, two, three, action. <clears throat> Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm happy. I can speak English. Really? That sounds good. Me too, because I have a new work. Ivan, that's great. Where do you work? I work with Gilberto in Capres. Yes, and they pay us very well. Oh my God, <laughs> I am envy them. <laughs> wait, beep, 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 beep. wait, 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 that's the president. That's it? That's ok, it. ok, <laughs> Yo estaba esperando que siguiera, por eso que he callado, ok. Good, ok. Me quedé con la envidia. No, eso no es bueno, ok. Ok, repeat, Ivan. Sounds. That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds that good. Sounds good. Ahora es lo natural. That sounds good. That sounds good. Very good, ok. 
I have a new work. Mm, let's say I, ha I have a new job. I have a new job. Job. Suena a la o. I have a new job. Let's go job. Lo voy a escribir tal cual la pronunciación. Job. I have a new job. 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 I have a new job. Ivan? No, Gilberto, who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? I have a new job. Me. Okay, I have a new job. I have a new job. Better. Okay. I envy them. Estabas hablando con ellos, <laughs> salvo que estuvieras en un comercial y volteas a ver hacia el paneo de la cámara. ¿verdad? I envy them. <laughs> I envy them. <laughs> okay. That was good, ok. Vamos a ir practicando el acting, ok, la actuación, porque cuando hagan role plays, espero que se conviertan en alguien más, ok. <coughs> que agarren el rol, vea, que les toca, porque te lo digo, en 30 años nunca he visto, nunca he escuchado o hablado con un americano que no sea expresivo, ni tampoco, bueno, los ingleses sí, los ingleses pueden estarte diciendo, I love you. Cero emociones, zero emotions. Ok, pero un americano es bien expresivo y hasta se ponen rojos. Ok, so you have to act. Tienen que aprender a, a, a expresar sus emociones. Ok, good. Hmm, hmm. Who's next? Ok, um, maybe who's next? Select somebody. Eh, el grupo, the group de Rafael Ernesto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's say Rafael's team. Rafael team. Hey, apliquemos lo aprendido. Se me olvidó eso, chicos. Acuérdense las um, nombres posesivos. Rafael's team. Rafael's team. team. Very good. Okay, Rafa. Okay. One, two, three, action. Ada and Michelle, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's start. I don't remember. That's with that. Last thing we talk. <laughs> okay, improvise. Make it up. Patricia. Hi, Ada and Michelle. How are you? Wait, 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 wait. Patricia, your microphone. Hi. Hi, Rafael. Hi, Rafa. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Fine. Oh, I feel a little sick. Really? Why? Yes. I have flu. I have flu. I'm sorry for you. Yes, and you? Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. I, am I have happy. I have a good day. And you Ada, what do you do? Fine. Okay. Work in the office. You. Who's next? Michelle, you do. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Well, in my case, um, I'm working in my house. So I have um, time to sleep a little because I'm I'm I have flu. Uh, that's good. Oh no, too bad. That's bad. Oh, como como digo eso está mal. That's bad. That's bad. Ada, where are you? Where are you? Where do you work? 
Where do you work? My work is near a, a master specific. The office address is 41 Avenue 2 and 12 West Street, number 2203 White Flower Colony. Teacher, how do you say departamento and municipio in English? Department? Department? Department. The um, municipality. 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 Mm -hmm. That's it? Eso es todo? Okay. It's okay, don't worry. Está bien, chicos. No se preocupen. Lo, que, lo importante es, es intentarlo, ¿no? Esperábamos ver, recuerden, preposiciones, direcciones. Hey, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Ah, I work at... Wow. Ok. Teacher, um, yep. teacher, tengo... Es que, bueno, me pasa que como que no siento la libertad como... O sea, la idea es repetir y agregar lo que vamos viendo. Mm -mm. Era probarlos, a ver, mi, mi, mi intención con esto era probarlos, a ver si eran creativos y si ya pues se pulían, ¿no? Así como lo hicieron sus compañeros anteriores, que pudieron armar ya cierta estructura ¿no? Una conversación entre dos o tres personas interactuar entre sí eh, crear algo de la nada, eso es muy importante que sean creativos, les dije del primer día su rutina eh, aburrido, ¿no? Entonces hay que ser muy creativos para buscar un nuevo vocabulario a la hora de, de, de crear algo fuera de, de contexto que tenemos diario. So, repeat, Rafa. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. 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 Decir, casi. Decir ternera. Ternera. Quítale la era. Turn. Ahí estás. Turn. 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 Good. Turn. Your turn. It's your turn. Your turn. It's your, your turn. turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Perfect. Okay. Más específico. <laughs> te va a pasar esto. Igual que decir, en lugar de decir is, te va a pasar, o no sé si ya te pasó, que decís es, porque suena muy similar, ¿no? Okay. Is. Okay. More specific. Repeat, Patricia. More specific. More specific. No haga una pausa, Patricia. More, 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 diga, diga, amores, more, amores, amor. Ahora quítele la, more, quítele la, more, more. No oigo la S, amores, more, specific, more, specific, specific. Ahí está. More specific. specific. More specific. More specific. Bien. Good. Good. Ok. Just one more. Eh, Rafa, select somebody. Just one more. Ya sé quién me le pero... Tocayo, choose someone. Select someone. Oh my God, Michelle, select somebody. Okay. Mm. Ophelia Steam. Ophelia Steam, very good. Antes de eso, Michi, Mi Michelle, se me quedó. Sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have the flu. Pongan atención todos. I have the flu. Mm -mm. I got. O sea, sí se puede decir I have the flu porque estás en básico, ¿no? Lo apropiado es. Y lo vas a ver cuando veas el presente perfecto. I've got the flu. I've got the flu. I've got the flu. The flu. Tú decías, I have flu. I uh -huh. have flu. Uh -huh. I have the flu. Ah, uh, ok. O sea, the uh -huh. flu, porque es algo importante. Te va a dar risa, pero la gripe común ha matado más personas en el mundo que, en, que otras enfermedades. Históricamente. Entonces... 
en Estados Unidos cuando algo es importante, bueno, en inglés, cuando algo es importante agregas la THL, decía, ¿no? Y es muy común que los americanos dicen eso, ¿no? The flu. Siempre agregan artículo a la gripe. The flu. Ahora bien, okay. hay una diferencia entre flu, que ya es gripe, tenés bastantes síntomas, y cold. cold resfriado. Un resfriado. resfriado. Y eso sí es común, ahí no... Ajá, no ocupo el artículo de, sino, ah, I have a cold, I have a cold, I have a cold. That's it. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. I've got the flu. Okay. Next, Ophelia's team. Uh, Jose Flora. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi guys, I'm how fine. are you? I'm fine. I'm and you? I am great. Tell me, what do you do? I'm fine. Hey, let's practice our English. I really, I will, I when I don't speak, I, I, about it or hobbies. Hobbies. It's awesome. Uh, I like white TV and you, Flora? Usually I watch TV with my family. I like it to play baseball I with me. Friend. Okay. Your friend. I will see you another day. Nice to see you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Good. Okay, good job. So, um, repeat, Ophelia. Let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, quiero que me vea, Ophelia, no veamos las letras. Míreme a mí. Let's talk. Let's talk. Otra vez. Let's. 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 Ese sonido. Let's. Ajá. Usted me está sí. diciendo, Ophelia, lec, lec, lec. Acá sale el sonido. No, es acá en la, la punta de la lengua atrás de los dientes frontales. De arriba, ¿ok? Digo let, let. Let's. 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 Ahí, muy bien. Let's talk. Let's talk. Hoy sí, toc. Toc. Diga tic toc. Tic toc. Toc, toc, toc. Toc, toc, Ahí. Let's talk. Let's talk. Casi. Toc, toc. Ok. About our hobbies. About our hobbies. Uh, about. About our hobbies. About our hobbies. Better. Let's talk about our hobbies, okay? Very good. Um, Gloria, usually, usually. 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 Mm -hmm. luego, usually. Decía Ophelia, luego intentaba decir Ophelia, with, with, with my, my friends. Friends. With my friends. Better, with my friends. Ok, y por último, eh, José Ángel, eh, no sé cómo lo pronunció, pero ahí lo noté en mayúsculas. Nice to see you. Nice. Nice, nice to see you. Ahí está. Ajá, es que el sonido final no lo hacía. Nice to see you. No. Nice, nice to see you. Nice. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Perfect. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Better. Very good. Uh, ok, guys, you see, it's very simple. Bien, vamos a hablar de un nuevo tema ahora. Very good, guys. No sé si alguien más quería compartir su conversación. Faltamos nosotros. ¿Who? Gloria, no, ¿quién? ¿Who? Jensi. Gloria. Gloria, Edwin y Jensi. Ah, no estaba Gloria en este grupo anterior, perdón. No. Oh, ups, sorry, ¿quién era? Es que tenía apagada la, la Ophelia? cámara. Ofelia. Ofelia, José. Sorry. Ah, Lorena, uh -huh. sorry. Ok, ahí está. No sí, no hay problema. Cuando se les baje la velocidad del internet, les he dicho y perfecto, 
apaguen la cámara y solo el audio va a pasar. Ok, good, Gloria. So, Gloria's team, one, two, three, action. Ok. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Gloria, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Are, are you doing your English homework? Uh, if I'm ready, I, I did, and I am bowling. Do you want to come? Oh, that's great. I did my homework last night. Where are you? And in the Galaxy Bowling. That's okay. Where is it? Uh, in the uh, in the Escalon neighbor, by the circle of uh, Fuente Beethoven. Like uh, Carl Lisbeth for the here to join us. That sounds good. But she's already here. Okay. Finish. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, good, guys. Le voy a decir un secreto. Mi mayor problema siempre ha sido seguir instrucciones. Eh, porque, porque me gusta ir un paso adelante. Eh, les pongo un ejemplo. A mi hijo de ocho años, eh, siendo a tercer grado, y pues tocó inscribirlo en una escuela pública tras la pandemia, ¿no? Para que esté con clases virtuales desde la casa. El punto es de que, me dice la profesora, déjele operaciones sencillas de una cifra. 8 más 4, 12... 12, um, 16 menos 4, 12, que todo de 12. Vengo yo y voy un paso más allá porque sé que le gustan las matemáticas, porque él es hiperactivo, él tiene déficit de hiperactividad y de atención, desorden de hiperactividad y déficit de atención, igual que a su papá. Entonces, pues no, ponerle dos, tres cifras, ¿y saben qué? Lo hizo. Y entonces, si tú no crees, él sí, y así, y entonces lo reto, ¿no? Um, ¿Por qué menciono esto? No solo por, por este grupito, sino por la mayoría. Decíamos que teníamos que aplicar eh, directions, ¿no? Al final lo hicieron excellent, very good. Um, sí, hay tiempos gramaticales que ustedes ya se pueden, bicho, ya se pueden, el presente continuo, el pasado, algunos ya lo vieron, pero sus compañeros no. So, very good. Está bien, practiquemos lo que conocemos. Me llega. Super good. Ok. Um, vamos a ver. El pronombre it al final, perdón, el, el pronombre it, et, suena a et. El sujeto it, ojo, después vamos a ver esto. Sujeto al principio y es eso. Objeto, o sea, el pronombre, el, el final, el objeto, como, su, como objeto, it, se pronuncia et. So where is it? ¿Oí? Where is it? No, where is it? No, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it? Where is it? It. Okay. Y in the Escalon neighbor. It's in the Escalon neighborhood. Neighborhood. Neighbor is vecino, neighborhood vecindario. Okay. Simplemente podría haber dicho, it's in, in Escalon. It's in Escalon. Alguien me mencionaba, mire, ¿y la fuente es Beethoven? ¿Es el nombre propio o común? Es común, porque está hablando de las fuentes. Aunque se llamen Beethoven, right? Es un nombre común. ¿Y escalón en este caso? Si no digo que es una colonia, sería nombre propio, right? So no puedo agregarle un artículo antes. In escalón. I'm in escalón. I'm in escalón. That's it. Ok. Good. Ok. Now, if you may. Great job. Let's continue with your book teacher yes neighbor is similar to next to door next door person mm, next door is al lado mm -hmm. al lado eso está diciendo al decir next door next door mm -hmm. de al lado next door al lado 
por el, el, vecino del, el vecino de Alicia living to the next to door Alice. Ay, sabía que por eso me lo estaban diciendo <risa> living next door to Alice yeah. sí eh, pero no, el vecino se dice neighbor neighbor um, ok guys, let's continue we have another topic here so really, ya no tenemos mucho tiempo para la conversación, la vamos a dejar para mañana Let's, let's talk about the grammar. Vamos a hablar de la gramática eh, envuelta en esto, que siempre en todo curso de inglés lo vas a ver al principio. ¿Qué es there is, there are? Esto te sirve para hablar de la existencia de algo. ¿Ok? Quiero dejar bien claro esto y por eso se lo voy a explicar en español primero y a partir de mañana y esto será en inglés. ¿Ok? There is, there are. Al decir there is o there are, estoy diciendo hay. Al hablar de la existencia de algo, hay, por ejemplo, hay, ¿se acuerdan de los artículos? Un, artículo un, ATM, un cajero automático, ¿ok? Un ATM, across the street, ¿qué era across the street? Someone? Cruzar. Al cruzar cruzando la, calle, la calle. Cruzando la calle. Excellent, Gilberto. Excellent, Michelle, I think. Okay. There is an ATM across the street. Entonces, te estoy diciendo, hay un ATM across the street. Vamos con un plural. There are a lot of companies down the street. Hay muchas compañías bajando la calle. There are a lot of companies down the street. Okay, next example. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Hay, oí lo que estoy diciendo con there's a, hay un centro de reclutamiento en la esquina de la calle Roosevelt y la primera avenida. Hay un, sigo, there are some supermarket on the right and left side of the street. Alguien me ayuda? Hay un... uh -huh. Ahora ya no es uno, ojo. Recuerdan el plural? Uh -huh. Yes. ¿Hay algunos supermercados? Bien. A la derecha de la calle. Ok, um, en el on the sobre, right, sobre. a la izquierda, a la derecha, a la derecha, y, ah, no veo, no veo. ah, perdón, ok, vaya, vamos a ver, de nuevo, so, estoy diciendo, aunque sea plural, voy a ocupar el verbo to be plural, ok, there are some supermarkets, hay algunos supermercados, on the right and left side, en el lado, Derecho y e izquierdo y izquierdo, ok. E izquierdo o a la, a la derecha y la izquierda de la calle, como tú lo quieras traducir. Ajá. Mi punto y el punto que quiero aterrizar ahorita es ese: there are significa hay. Ok, ya vamos a seguir abordando parte por parte cada oración que hemos visto. Next. La última. There's no closing. There's no closing factory around the corner. There's no closing factory around the corner. Teacher dijo closing y no clothing. Yes. Okay. No es clothing, es closing. Closing, closing, closing. There's no closing factory around the corner. Okay. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. No hay, y aquí estoy negando, no hay, no hay fábrica de ropa cruzando la esquina, no hay fábrica de ropa cruzando la esquina, no hay hospitales en la calle Barrios. Ok, so, partiendo esto por la mitad, hablemos de los singulares primero. Hay una. Un, una, un, 
No. Repito. Ojo, una, un, objetos singulares, cajero, una, un, centro de reclutamiento, ni, perdón, no hay, no hay, ¿ok? Eh, fábrica de ropa, no hay fábrica de ropa. Ok, este tipo me vuelve negativo a la oración, más sin embargo, no me está haciendo el negativo en esta estructura. Ya vimos dos negativos. Verbo to be con not y do o does con not. ¿Se acuerdan? Don't, doesn't. Ok. Good. Solo quiero aclarar eso. Ok. There's no closing factory. No es la parte negativa. Ok. En otras palabras. Y ya casi iba ahí. Ok. Esa es la parte eh, there is. Ocupo is para singulares. U objetos incontables. Repito. Ocupo is para singulares. U objetos incontables. Por ejemplo. There's no water. Oye que chivo se Hey, there's no water. Mañana que te levanté, no es que te desee mal, pero imagínate, se fue el agua. Y te metiste a la ducha y vos encendiste la regadera porque era tarde. Y no cae agua. There's no water. Oh, oh. No hay agua. ¿Ok? There's a piece of cheese. There's a piece of cheese in the fridge. Hay un pedazo de queso en el refri. Mañana hablaremos de los objetos contables y de los objetos incontables. Duérmanse pensando en eso. ¿Qué son contables? ¿Qué son incontables? ¿Sí es? Ok. Let me move on. Continuamos. Se me cayeron todos de repente. Oh my God. Ok. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda hasta ahí? No, ok. Bien, there are, por lógica, y quiero, espero que hayan identificado que el verbo to be es el auxiliar de esta estructura. Esto no es un tiempo gramatical. Esto es una estructura, una manera de hablar, de que se habla de la existencia de las cosas. Estás diciendo que allí hay, okay, que hay algo, ok. Seguimos. Ahí ocupábamos artículos para los singulares, ¿no? Ah, pues aquí vamos a ocupar también, puedo ocupar un artículo si pues lo necesita el quantifier. Y aquí vamos a empezar a hablar mañana también de quantifiers. Búsquenlos, investiguenlos. Ahorita o mañana durante un chancecito que les quede. ¿Qué son los cuantificadores? Los quantifiers. Pues son como este, ¿no? A lot of mucho, un puño de, ¿ok? There are a lot of, y esto va con un plural, ¿ok? Esto va con un plural, cuidado. Companies, supermarkets, hospitals, y aquí está la clave para que tú no te equivoques en un examen con there is o there are, ¿ok? Número uno, verbo to be, está en plural, el plural. Número dos, por ende, el nombre va a estar en plural. ¿Ok? Same structure, la misma estructura. There are, ahora ocupo un cuantificador. Podría decir, there are many companies. There are lots of companies. There's, there are too many, too many companies. There are some, hay algunas. There are some supermarkets. There are some apples. Ok. Y para negar, puedo ocupar esto de nuevo. There are no hospitals on various streets. There are no eggs. There are no eggs. There are no tomatoes. There are no potatoes. There are no students. There are no teachers. Plurales. Got it? 
questions? Got it. Got it. Eso me sonó a que de mala gana, así como, ah, no, ¿qué? Okay. Come on, guys, be, be honest. Sean honestos conmigo. Y que no les dé pena ya decirme, nada, hombre, chale, mire usted. No, hombre, ¿qué es eso? Así no, Ricky, díganme. Pero díganmelo, o sea, ya quitémonos la pena y tengan, no tengan miedo de decir, teacher, mire, yo me perdí. Ya entendí nada. O sí, mire, qué chivo está este volado, vea. Vamos, chicos. Uh -huh. Teacher. No. Uh -huh. Yes. Siento que eh, para negar, eh, a veces, en mi caso, en lugar de decir no, de decir no, voy a decir not. Siento que se me va a escapar el not. Y si se puede. Ah, si sí se puede. Sí, pero okay. aún no. Mañana le, voy puede, a... Mañana le voy a dar las tres estructuras, así como lo hago en cada uno de las épocas gramaticales que vayamos viendo, les prometí. Vamos a ver el positive, el negative y el question. ¿Cómo se ocupa el there is y el there are? Teacher, eso le iba a consultar porque, por ejemplo, en ese singular que dice there's no, o sea, es que no hay, pero esa oración se puede volver negativa también. Es una afirmación negativa. Ajá. Me llega, Liz. Me llega, Michelle. Very good. So. Okay. El verbo to be se vuelve el auxiliar, a ese le agrego el not, a ese traigo el principio para hacer una pregunta. Ok, brevemente. There is time, there isn't time, there isn't any time. Is there any time? Podría decir, is there any time? Ok, hasta podría ver la, la palabra left. No de izquierdo, sino de rem, remanente de... Okay. Ajá, de quedar. Is there any time left? Queda, ajá, cabal. Queda algo de tiempo. Hay algo de tiempo. Uh -huh. There's time. There isn't any time left. Is there any time left? Queda, no queda nada de tiempo. Ok. Queda algo de tiempo. Yes. Let's check the attendance. Mañana vamos a ahondar, vamos a profundizar este tema. Ok. Y. Investigan los quantifiers. Sorpréndame. Mañana. Ok. Let's go. Really quick. A la Patricia Linares Galdamez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Blanca Argelia Fabián Mejía. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Here. Ok, Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Here. José Marvin Portillo Argueta. Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Here. No escuché la ¿Quién? primera lista. Yeah, I know. Está bien, yo ya le había tomado en cuenta que Contreras. estaba. Maybe si ves Milla Contreras. Here. Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano. Here. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Si está ahí, ok. Reinaldo Bonilla Martínez. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Bien, chicos, eh, una aclaración. Aunque ustedes entren solo 10 minutos a la clase, recuerden, eh, al final les tiene que cuadrar el, la cantidad de, de minutos y horas, ¿no? Primero Dios que así sea, ya terminamos este viernes. Y, y no, no lo digo solo por Vanessa. Sé lo que Vanessa con su comentario me recordó esto. O sea, hay varios que me escriben, mire, no voy a poder llegar mire, tal vez lo logro, vea, 
Ey, pero sí. al final yo no puedo hacer nada más que reportar que venís tarde. Está bien. Y no es un regaño. No, solo aclararles. Al final te tiene que cuadrar todo. Y me llega, por ejemplo, Edwin, aquel día manejando desde no sé dónde, de cabaña, no sé. Y, híjole, sí. de San Miguel, de ver a Jan, si dice que venía. Demasiado. Sí. Entonces, igual, vea, conectarse es importante para acumular sus horas, ¿ok? No se pierdan, ya poco falta, ¿ok? I'll see you tomorrow at 8. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.